माय सेल्फ चेमिसा सांगानी आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय बैचलर्स फ्रॉम बहाउद्दीन साइंस कॉलेज विथ फॉरेंसिक साइंस एंड कंप्लीटेड माय मास्टर्स विथ स्पेशलाइजेशन इन फॉरेंसिक फिजिक्स एंड बैलिस्टिक्स विथ वॉइस प्रोफाइलिंग from uh, gujarat forensic sciences university and i have cleared ugc net for assistant professor today we are going to discuss about ir spectroscopy spectroscopy so spectroscopy as an interaction of light with matter to get some meaningful information information like what type of functional group is present in our sample what is the chemical composition of particular sample so all this information will get with the help of spectroscopic techniques so there are n number of spectroscopic techniques like uv spectroscopy ir spectroscopy atomic absorption spectroscopy x-ray spectroscopy nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy and many more so now today we are going to discuss about ir spectroscopy ir spectroscopy ir means infrared so this name suggests that we are using ir radiation as an source in this spectroscopic technique so it is based on the simple fact that the chemical substance show mark selective absorption in ir region of spectrum ir region means 0.78 micrometer to 200 micrometer wavelengths introduction ir spectroscopy is one of the best and powerful technique which offers the possibility of chemical structure it provides useful information about the structure of molecule After absorption of ir radiation the molecule of chemical substance vibrated many rates of vibration giving rise to close spectral absorption bands called in ir absorption spectrum which may extend over wide wavelength range as we all know that absorption is depends on beer's law in spectroscopy so here we are discussing ir absorption so this law states that radiation absorbed on passing through a solution is directly proportional to the concentration of the absorbent so a is proportional to c means absorption is directly proportional to concentration so here we can calculate that a is equal to means absorption is directly proportional to concentration means absorption is totally uh, depend on the concentration of particular substance here you can observe that there are various types of molecular energy but in ir spectroscopy vibrational energy plays an important role to identify structure of molecule here you can observe vibrational bone that here bones are vibrated with a particular frequencies so present in ir spectrum which will correspond to the characteristic functional group present in chemical substance means when we apply particular wavelength particular ir range to the substance or molecule our interested sample then it will frequently vibrate here you can observe spectrum of ir we can classify ir region in generally three parts that is near ir region 0.78 to 2.5 micrometer middle ir region 2.5 to 15 micrometer and far ir region that is 15 to 200 micrometer now we come to theory of ir absorption so requirements for absorption of ir radiation is correct wavelength of radiation and electric dipole so here you can observe correct wavelength of radiation that when we are applying particular wavelength to the sample then molecules will vibrate with particular frequency when molecule will vibrate with particular frequency it 
comes under absorption and it will detect by detectors. Now we come to electric dipole. Sample having electric dipole can only vibrate in IR. So it is a basic requirement in IR spectroscopy. So asymmetrical molecules are IR active and symmetric molecules are IR inactive. So here you can observe that in CO2 dipole moment is zero. So it is IR inactive and in H2O dipole moment is 1.85. So it is IR active. Any change in shape of the molecule, stretching of bonds, bending of bonds or internal rotation around single bone turns to molecular vibration. So there are generally two types of molecular vibrations that is stretching and bending. So this is a classification of molecular vibrations which we can observe in IR spectroscopy. So that is stretching and bending. In stretching further we can classify symmetric stretching and asymmetric stretching in bending, scissoring, rocking, wagging and twisting. Here for your better understanding this illustration will give to you so you can uh, easily understood this different types of stretching and bending which take place in IR spectroscopy. Here you can observe symmetric stretching and asymmetric stretching. Here different types of bending you can observe in plan rocking, in plan scissoring, out of plan wagging, out of plan twisting. Now we come to instrumentation. In dispersive IR instrument sample is located between the source and monochromator. Radiation produced from source for beam splitter which splits the beam into two equivalent half beams. These beams are focused by separate concave mirror on the sample and reference sample. This beam after dispersion by the monochromator for on detector. So here you can observe block diagram of IR spectroscopy. Here you can observe double beam IR spectroscopy. Each wavelength is measured at a time. The signal from the detector is processed and sent to the recorder for an output. First we talking about source. So infrared source are hot bodies which emit continuously throughout the IR and which approximate a black body radiation in their emission properties. So what are the source which is used in IR spectroscopy that is in condensant lamp, Nuns Glover lamp, Glover source, Nichrome wire lamp, Mercury arc lamp. Next is monochromator. So prism or grating type of monochromators are mainly used in IR spectrometers. Quartz as a material for prism used in near IR region. Most of the analytical work in IR is done with crystalline NaCl as a prism material. Crystalline KBR and cerium bromide are also used as a prism material for far IR region. So here you can observe whole uh, instrumentation. So first radiation source is there. So from radiation source, IR lights, IR radiations are coming out from that and it incident to the sample. Sample is absorbed that radiation and uh, remaining frequencies, remaining uh, wavelengths are coming out from that and uh, monochromator will uh, <coughs> disperse the radiation and uh, will get particular frequencies and it will detect and interpret by detector and recorder. Sampling device. Glass or quartz cannot be used as a material for making cuvettes for use in IR region. This is because glass absorbs strongly at most of the frequencies in this region. Those salts like NaCl and KBR which are transparent in the IR region are used for the construction of IR windows. The sampling technique depends on the phase means solid liquid or case of the sample to be analyzed. Detectors. There are various detectors which is used in IR spectroscopy. So uh, there are several detectors which I mentioned here that is thermal transducer uh, which works on thermal effect. So some example of thermal transducers are thermocouple and bolometer. 
next is pyroelectric transducer uh, that is used in FTIR and photoconducting transducers so which work on semiconductor thermocouple principle of thermocouple in this detectors the signal originates from a potential difference caused by heating a junction of the unlike metals by the infrared beam while the other junction is kept at constant temperature next is bolometer it provides an electrical signal as a result of variation in resistance of conductor with temperature pyroelectric transducers so these are the arrangement of pyroelectric transducer you can see there are three layers that is black coating pyroelectric material is there and there are two electrodes is there here you can observe photoconducting type of transducer there are various disadvantage of ir spectroscopy like uh, low sensitivity low resolution low scanning process and because of that dispersive ir is displaced by ftir spectroscopy so we come to ftir ftir is placed for fourier transform infrared spectroscopy here you can observe instrument of ftir so instrumentation not individually measured the wavelength collect the response at all wavelengths simultaneously so what are the components of ftir radiation source interferometer sample holder detector amplifier analog to digital converter and recorder here you can observe that uh, instrumentations or uh, components as same as ir spectroscopy but one thing is uh, interferometer okay instead of monochromator here we are using interferometer and uh, it plays an important role in the spectroscopy here you can observe the working of uh, ir ftir spectroscopy how it works internally so here two mirrors are there that is one is moving mirror and fixed mirror sample cell is there and one mirror is there interferometer it consists of following components two perpendicular plane mirrors that is stationary and rotating mirror and beam splitter so there are three components of interferometer so now how ir spectroscopy how ftir is working so interferometer is used in this spectroscopy interferometer splits the beam into two parts with two mirrors one part is transmitted to a moving mirror and one part is reflected to a fixed mirror the moving mirror moves back and forth at constant velocity the two beams are reflected from the mirrors and recombined at the beam splitter the beam from the moving mirror has traveled a different distance than the beam from fixed mirror here you can observe as whatever we discussed that how that constructive and destructive phenomena will take place and according to that how data interpretation will take place when the beams are combined some of the wavelength recombine constructively and some destructively which creates an interference pattern this interference pattern is known as interferogram this goes from the beam splitter to the sample when energy is absorbed and some is transmitted the transmitted percent reach to detector 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 reads an information about every wavelength and then the detector signal is sent to the computer and algorithm called fourier transformed on the interferogram to convert into final ir spectrum ftir the scientist named fourier discovered a mathematical operation known as fourier transformation which convert the interferogram to final ir spectrum which is frequently domain spectrum showing the result or intensity to frequency conversion so there are two types of detector which is generally used in ftir that is ttgs and mct type of detector so dtgs means deuterated triglycine sulfate detector which is an pyroelectric type of detector next is liquid nitrogen cooled mct detector which is known as mercury cadmium telluride type of detector so what are the applications of ftir in forensic 
analysis of paint analysis of fiber paper and ink analysis polymer analysis and many more are applications of ftir thank you for more queries please visit www.designsub.in thank you again